nationally and worldwide, shouty. People know me and the Stews brand in these streets. I'll let you vote. Once again, the number is 770-847-0536 or email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Yes! He's nobody's sports talk puppet, the Doug Stewart Show. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. This is a Word on the Street Wednesday. And uh, really appreciate you joining, folks. Make sure that you tell everybody you know. Uh, let's be honest. I just need you to tell one person. If you tell one person and they tell, you know how a pyramid scheme works? <laughs> you know how dominoes work? All right? Tell one person. Just do me a favor and tell one person today about the live is the most interactive, the most fun sports talk show in America, the Doug Stewart Show. All right? Uh, you can email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. You can also give me a call at 404 382 0338. And this segment is brought to you by AmeriCommerce. All you need to get your online store off the ground, AmeriCommerce. Go to my website, the Doug Stewart Show.com, and click on their banner link and uh, check them out. All right, in about 15 minutes, we're going to talk to the head coach of the Georgia State Panthers basketball program, Mr. Ron Hunter, and uh, talk about the great success that they have down there. Wow, they've done some big things since he's been there. This is his fourth year coming up. They won the conference last year. Uh, His son plays for the team. Uh, You know, a lot of little interesting storylines. Kevin Ware, the Louisville player that broke his leg, uh, actually transferred there. He has... Uh, family here. He's actually from the city of Atlanta, the metro Atlanta area. So he transferred. I'm going to ask him about that too. I didn't know that story or uh, I haven't heard uh, that he had transferred. And basically he hurt himself again. Um, The same leg that he broke in the tournament that was so gruesome. Everybody was talking about for weeks and weeks on end. But he hurt himself again, the same leg. I don't think the same exact injury and he wasn't getting time, and uh, a lot of times with these scholarships, I don't know the status of a scholarship, but he transferred to Georgia State. And so he's going to be a big part of the program. He's healthy right now, and so they're going to depend on him. And so we'll talk about that uh, with Coach Hunter in about 12, 13 minutes, so stay tuned for that. All right, the number is 404-382-0338. As I mentioned, the new – College football playoff rankings came out last night. Let's talk about the top 10. Number 10, Notre Dame. Number 9, Arizona State. Number 8, Michigan State. Number 7, Kansas State. Number 6, TCU. Watch out for TCU. Watch out for TCU, the Horned Frog, shorty. <laughs> yeah, 7-1 and one right now. Number 6 team in the country. Um, thing about TCU, though, is the rest of their schedule, they got uh, Kansas State. They got Kansas then they got Texas. Even though Texas is sucking win this year, it's still Texas. So they got good athletes. So they got a, a, a tough road ahead of them because some of these teams have been playing fantastic football, in particular Kansas State, uh, who they take on this coming weekend, I believe, uh, TCU, the Horn Frogs. So that's going to be a big matchup uh, in college football. So, yeah, yeah. Number one, you got Mississippi State. Number two, Florida State. Number three, Auburn. And number four, you have Oregon. And Oregon, I've seen, uh, seems like it's probably seemed like that I've had an issue with Oregon being ranked over Alabama. Not really. And number five is Alabama. I, I really don't have a problem with it, I guess. If you really dissect their schedules, Oregon's got more quality wins. Uh, but they got a more quality loss, too, in my book. Uh, Alabama, you know, Oregon lost at home to Arizona. And Alabama, Alabama's only loss came on the road to Ole Miss, or was it Mississippi State? I'll be able to tell you in a second. But Alabama's loss, in my opinion, is better than Oregon's loss. But Alabama doesn't have that many great wins. They have one significant win, I guess you'd call it, against West Virginia. And Oregon has a couple of more. But here's the thing for me. And why I have a real problem with this. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Alabama plays in the SEC. So I inherently give more credit to their wins. Even though if there are teams that don't have a good as record. As the the wins that Oregon have. And beating uh, Stanford and UCLA. And I guess I'm biased on that. I feel like that any win in the SEC. Is a better win than any win you have in the Pac-12. Or the Pac-10 or whatever it's called. So 
I'm kind of biased in that, I guess. And these guys are going to do their jobs, and the committee's going to do their job. They're going to meet every week, and I'm fine with that. It's okay, because guess what? It's going to play itself out. It is absolutely going to play itself out, because Auburn has to still play the Iron Bowl, uh, Mississippi State and Mississippi. Ole Miss still have to play the uh, Egg Bowl. So there's going to be some movement, even though Ole Miss drops all the way down to number 11. That's going to still be a quality win for a team that was in the top five uh, for the for a couple of weeks this year in the rankings. So that's still going to be a quality win. Uh, Auburn's still going to be in the mix of playing some of these big teams. They're going to still have to play the Iron Bowl against Alabama. So it's going to all work itself out, I think, very, very much so. So don't worry about it. Don't stress. If you're a college football fan, if you're a fan of a team in the SEC, don't stress. It's going to be fine. <laughs> it's going to work itself out. Uh, the, Pac- the Pac-12 has some... Balling teams. You got to stop hating on the Pac-12, Doug. That comes from Fred Mack. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. I can hate who I want. <laughs> yes. And yes, I probably am biased. But let's be honest. There's a lot to be biased about with based on what the SEC has done over the last eight years. From Lamont, he says, the people that, that are upset with the Lakers hate us because they ain't us. 16 titles, son. That's all that matters. And that's true. That's a very accurate point. Uh, people don't like a winner. People either love a winner or they hate a winner. So a lot of times it's right between as far as uh, your loyalties lie, as far as loving a team or hating a team. From that ninja says, Doug, how many times have you put your clubs down this year declaring that you're done with the game of golf only to claim you figured out the game and a couple of weeks later you're back out there just curious? Well, I played golf this weekend. When I went to homecoming and played pretty decent on the back nine. Front nine, I absolutely suck. On the back, I think I shot a 42 on the back. On the front, I think I shot a 55, 57 or something crazy like that. It was real bad. Uh, I've never said that I was going to quit playing golf. Never. Because I have too much money invested in my clubs. <laughs> That's the only reason. The only reason I haven't just quit, and if you try to sell clubs, you know how it is, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. If you try to sell clubs, they want to give you eight cents on a dollar. <laughs> yes. So because I'm stubborn and um, I'm cheap as hell, I'm not going to quit playing golf. I got a lot of money spent in my golf clubs. I mean, I bought my golf clubs at the height of the two live stews when we were making real good Skrilla. <laughs> Yes, so I went out and splurged, and I bought these nice pings and a nice bag and this, that, and the other, and I still go out there and shoot 105, but damn it, I look good. (laughs) Yes, yes, so nah, I've never really considered, you know, really considered, honestly considered quitting the game of golf. As frustrated as it makes me, and Lord knows it makes me frustrated, I'm not going to quit. I just got too much vested in the game. (laughs) I'll just keep going out there and hacking. Yes, I will keep going out there and hacking. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. Once again, that's 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. If you're a company out there, you'd like to partner with the Doug Stewart Show, you think your brand uh, or your product, uh, or, or, or or anything would be a good fit with what we do around here. Have fun, talk about sports. Uh, you know, talk about the passions that we have about sports, entertainment, uh, pop culture, hip hop culture, uh, guy stuff between ages like thirty five and fifty five. This could be the place for you. Let's talk about it. Email your boy at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com and let's do some business. Uh, one last note from the world of college football. Have y'all looked at the latest Heisman polls and kind of like the watches? <sighs> Let me give you the top five based on vote that the Heisman watch has right now. Um, number five is uh, Trayvon Boykin, the quarterback from TCU. He won't win it because he goes to TCU. You know what, though? I said that a couple of years ago when Robert Griffin the third won it, and I said he goes to Baylor. He won't win it, but I really mean it this time. He's definitely not going to win it. Amari Cooper. At number four, wide receiver from Alabama. You know a wide receiver is not going to win it. Melvin Gordon, the running back from Wisconsin, he got hurt. 
So it's kind of sketchy about him and his production on the field. Number two, Dak Prescott, the quarterback from Mississippi State. If they keep winning, he's got a shot. He's got to have one of those Heisman moments, though. That's the thing that's going to win the Heisman Trophy for Dak Prescott is if he has one of those Heisman Trophies, uh, Heisman Trophy moments, and they keep winning, and then he might have a shot. But they are really, really putting all of their eggs in the basket of Marcus Mariota. And I like this kid. And maybe it's just because it's West Coast and I don't get to follow him as closely as if I lived out there. But as it stands right now, if they keep doing what they do and he just doesn't have one of those horrible games like he did against Arizona, Marcus Mariota's probably going to win the Heisman Trophy. Yes. I mean, he's way ahead of uh, most everybody else. I mean, Dak Prescott's pretty close with 38 total votes. Marcus Mariota has 47. So... You pretty much just a two-man race right now. Uh, all of the talk about Gurley uh, possibly still being able to get into it. That's not going to happen. Gurley's not going to win it. He's not going to win it. That's out. Forget that. So very, very interesting stuff. All right, when we get back from the break, we're going to talk to the head coach of the Georgia State Panthers, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Hunter, and uh, get his thoughts about the program and uh, everything they got going on. All right, so don't go away. It's the Doug Stewart Show. So you think you're a fantasy whiz, huh? Well, prove it and make some nice scratch at the same time. Scratch is money. What do you know about FanDuel? FanDuel packs the thrill of a whole season in one week. Play in one-week fantasy football leagues for free money with immediate cash payouts. The money is real with no season-long commitment. That's huge because when your team starts to suck, you don't want to play no more. It's no more fun. Trade everybody. I've been there. You play when and how much you want. Deposit now and FanDuel will match it up to $200. Use the promo code COOLER, that's C-O-O-L-E-R, and take advantage of free loot to get your game on. FanDuel, where every week is a new season. The Doug Stewart Show is off and running, but just like every company, we need sponsors. Would yours like to work with one of the livest, most dynamic, and recognized sports talk dudes in America? By the way, I'm talking about myself. Getting in on the ground floor? Well, call us at 770-847-0536 or email me at Doug at DougStewartShow.com and let's do business. From the smallest company in Atlanta to the biggest brands nationally and worldwide, Shawty, people know me and the Stews brand in these streets. I'll let you, boy. Once again, the number is 770-847-0536 or email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. What is 911 Tax Relief? It's a tax relief company that can help you reduce or remove your IRS or state tax debt. They'll help stop bank levies and wage garnishments by implementing offers and compromise or penalty abatements. 911 Tax Relief is a tax relief company, but they're different from the others. Their experts are licensed and enrolled tax agents, and they also have more than 12 years' experience helping people solve their tax problems. They're a tax relief company that understands how the IRS works, and they'll also put that knowledge to work for you so they can get you the best possible settlements or solutions to your tax problems. Highly rated by the Better Business Bureau, and they've also helped thousands of people, I mean thousands, solve their tax problems. So don't play around. Click on their link on my website, thedougstewartshow.com, and let 911 Tax Relief help you and your situation with our uncle. You know, Uncle Sam. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Thank you so much for joining you, folks. I really do appreciate it. And this is a Word on the Street Wednesday, and we're talking college football. And we're talking basketball, NBA, but right now, let's go ahead and talk a little bit of college basketball, and let's talk to the head coach of the Georgia State Panthers on the phone with us right now, Coach Ron Hunter. Coach Hunter, how you doing? I'm doing great. We can talk about the NBA and why I'm not playing in the NBA right now. I'm 50 <laughs> years old. I still think that I should be playing, and so we can talk about that, and we can get on all those NBA teams for not having me on their roster right now. We can still do that if you want. Fantastic segue. <laughs> Fantastic segue because, I mean, you actually had a cup of tea with greatness. You played 
your college basketball with Ron Harper. Back in the day, they used to call him a poor man's Jordan. How was that playing?